hi friends you're welcome to my channel if you're stopping by for the first time my name is christy i make and sell skincare and hair care products on my website please go check them out so without wasting much of your time let's dive into the video Today we will be making 200 grams stress relief body lotion. Our first ingredient is our lavender essential oil. If you have the lavender essential oil, you can use it. I do not have the lavender essential oil, so I'm using the lavender flower in the place of the lavender essential oil. Next is our scenting gum. Next is our vegetable glycerin. Add the mixed scenting gum and the glycerin into the water phase. Now we have our water phase. Weigh the total water phase and melt it down. Place it on a double boiler. Next is our emulsifying wax. Next is our unrefined shea butter, which acts as a barrier protection. You can you you can decide to use the refined shea butter or the unrefined shea butter. Next is our lavender flower infused in jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is actually an extra wax or a liquid wax. Next is our sunflower oil, rich in vitamin E and natural moisturizing property of sunflower oil, deeply nourish the skin. Place it on a double boiler. Weigh 
Weigh the total water phase. Check your notes to see how much water evaporates while boiling it and add back the water. Add the water phase into the oil phase. I switched to another baker. The first one I was using was a little bit smaller for me to mix properly. When making an emulsion can sometimes be fun and sometimes not. Let's add our cooling phase, vitamin E oil, antioxidant helps to prevent the oil and the butter from growing rancid. Next is our sodium lactic, a humectant helps the skin retain hydration by holding on to moisture. Next is our Helicalypso essential oil is known for its strong healing properties. Next is our preservative. We are using Jogad ECT. pH and preservative. If you are making your own skincare products, you should also keep the pH in mind for your preservative. Many preservatives are with certain pH range that ensure they can offer a broad spectrum of protection against bacterial growth. Please take your time to mix well. We have heard about pH, but why is it important in skincare? A product with a pH of 7 is neutral. If the pH is less than 7, the product is acidic. There are two simple ways to test the pH in skincare recipe. A pH strip and a pH meter. Both have their coin and Prone and coin. The pH of our cream is at pH five point five. All right, friends, this is our final product. If you have different emulsifying wax, please use it. If you have different preservative, please use it. The most important thing in this recipe is the essential oil that I use. All right, friends, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Also, if you have any question, please drop it on the comment section. I will definitely answer them. Stay safe, stay blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.